I put it this way, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for him. Probably just out to lunch or dinner, or the kids came around, or... Valentine's Day. Hmm. Very seldom. Snuggle. Or two. You might have had a bit of Valentine's uh, from me before we were married, but... Uh... Of course. Yeah. We both joined Junior Farmer Club. And that's where it sort of all started, wasn't it? Mm. Both coming from farming uh, families. We had to and, do oh dear. various things together. And it got very serious. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company very much. Understood each other quite well. And he's a hard worker. And I was a hard worker. Hmm. And terrific girl, outdoor girl, yes. Yeah. For what she had to deal with at the time, but that didn't uh, didn't even wasn't even a consideration in my mind. But uh, yes, it's uh, it's a peculiar thing when people ask you the question, "What was it that attracted you to a person?" And there's no particular one thing. Full yeah. stop. You can't Just, answer the question truthfully. I can't, any rate. I, uh, I'll, I'll put it this way. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for him. He's helped me through lots of whatever he does and looks around to make sure I'm OK about it all. So he's pretty special. Underneath the... Um, uh, what? Tree was it out in the back? Lemon tree. Lemon tree out in the backyard. <laughs> We'd come home from the movies or something, and but well, he was still living at Gornvale, mm. and uh, we'd come home from the movies and went down the beside the the garage underneath the lemon tree, and he says, "What about it, eh? <laughs> Let's get to marry, yeah. or something to that effect." How long had we been dating? Oh, about 18 months. Hmm. I guess. I suppose yeah. it would be. It was a very hot day on the day of the wedding. When my storms were going to the church, my father was driving me to the church and he said, uh, now listen here. <laughs> you look after that bloke, he's a jolly good bloke. Yes, Dad. <laughs> so I did. What, what, what was the year? What, 1960? We got married in 1960, yes. Yeah. When? What day? 31st of December. That's right. Mm. No, it's, um, as I said, my father said, look after that bloke, he's a job. Yeah, well, I can't. Bring it. We can say that a number of times, but... Uh, mm -hmm. No, because you talk too much, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> a polio uh, survivor. A what? Polio. I had polio way back when. Yeah, 1950, 51, 52. And in it, Brisbane. as you get older, it just uh, it makes you a little less mobile. Mm. But it didn't worry him. I think marrying Adrian was the best thing I ever did because I you know I've always had a slight well what, what would you call it leg and it's never he's always just still me ah don't do it till you're completely sure <laughs> that, that might sound ridiculous but uh, you know, in this day and age, uh, the money, or well, not the money side, but that, what I'm trying to say, seems to go a long way to happiness. Whereas once upon a time you got married and you just did things, but now I think it's a little different.